Hey there, hope all is well. My name is Danielle. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel or welcome to the channel. I am a graphic designer, illustrator, and the founder of Zuri and Dre. So today we're talking samples. I received two sets of samples, two samples, two packages. I received two packages of samples from two different suppliers. So one is from my plushie supplier, so my doll supplier, as well as my cushion supplier. Uh, and then a new one, a completely new supplier, and a completely new product, towels. Okay, so not regular towels, like beach towels, so colorful, vibrant towels. I saw the pictures from the supplier. This is what they look like. And it's too bright, too vibrant, I think, just from the pictures. But of course, pictures are based off of the phone, the quality, etc. So maybe they're better in person. I'm opening them up for the first time on camera, so whew, let's see. Let's start with the plushies, because I have more confidence in that just because I've been working with the supplier for years. This is the second set for just two of the dolls. I only needed to change this for two of the doll samples. If you saw my previous video, you saw all the new dolls that are hopefully going to be coming out soon. So let's open the doll samples first. Okay, so the next doll that we're coming out with is going to be the doll that has vitiligo. And so the first sample, which I'll show you in a second, her head was very big because of her hair, her hairstyle. It was very wobbly. So because of that, we needed to make some adjustments in order for her neck not to be so like unstable. So the suggestions that I came up with along with talking with my supplier was just making her head smaller. So very little shake problems when it comes to her neck here compared to the other one so she's super adorable she's got a fro how cute is she so her head shape is going to be a little smaller than the other dolls just because her hair is so big but her body shape is going to be the same so she could still wear the same clothes as all the other dolls so i think she looks great i am approving the sample as is so what are the next steps so technically you're supposed to receive your invoice from your supplier, your manufacturer. They say what the percentage is for the deposit. So for this specific supplier, it's 50% deposit. So you pay 50% of the total fee for all your production of the bulk order. From there, they work on the production, manufacturing. You ask for images, videos, etc. throughout the process if you want. Again, I've worked with a supplier before, so it's nothing new for me. And then once they're done, you pay the remaining balance, which is 50%. And then it's shipping. Shipping is normally a separate cost from production. You can normally do shipping with the supplier itself. You can use your own broker or your own customs shipping company. So those are next steps. I'm very excited. I'll show you the difference between this doll and the first sample. So her head is definitely bigger, but even when I just move her around, like this one shakes so much more. So just in reference, Yeah, she was a little bit too wobbly. We love her, but a little bit too wobbly. And so this one's a lot better. She definitely still wobbles, and that's going to be necessary, but definitely not as much as this. So this sample is approved. I'm going to tell my manufacturer, and then it's just a matter of waiting. Normally production takes about 30, 40, 45 days. You can ask your supplier. My supplier specifically because I'm doing this doll as well as some new clothes for my other dolls because all their bodies are the same. It's gonna be about 45 days. So I'm getting 300 units of her plus 100 of each new clothing piece that is gonna be part of the collection as well. Our next doll. So next we have our locks doll, our doll with locks or dreadlocks like me. Um, this doll, it was just a matter of getting the sample done to make sure it looks good and I'm happy with it. The production is not going to be starting anytime soon. We're really just starting with the doll that has vitiligo first. And then in 2024, we'll start with the second doll that's going to be coming out from this, this sample run. So this was really just to get the final look, the final design to make sure we're good and I'm happy with it. And then it's going to be a matter of just focusing on the vitiligo doll for now and then moving forward from there. So the change for this one was to just take out the back hair here because it was just too much. It was too long. It wasn't looking too cute. Um, I have no changes, no... I like it. He's cute. 
it's very simple but also like on point you know what I mean like look at that how cute and if he wants he can have like a little mohawk going on very cute so this is our lock doll and as I said this doll isn't being produced right now it's just a matter of making the sample making sure the sample is approved and then moving forward when we're ready so these are our two new samples so another thing I had asked was just to get an updated um, version of the ballerina outfit. So in the previous version, she's wearing underwear and she has a tutu, same look, but they were two separate pieces. So the underwear and like the top part with the tutu part were separate. So I just asked for them to attach it into one piece. And so they just sent me this and I'll be able to change it out on the doll I already have, the sample I already have. So now going forward, once it's time to actually produce the ballerina doll and I'm also going to be asking to have these just the clothing separate so I can sell online. Now we have a new style or new version which is all one piece. So one thing about the dolls which I love, no matter the doll, all of their bodies are the same shape, same size. So all the clothes are interchangeable which is really exciting. And then it's just a matter of the head is going to be different, the hair is going to be different, etc. Skin tones, all that kind of fun stuff. But their bodies are all going to be the same. So that makes it more fun to be able to interchange their clothes if you like. So this new launch, once I have the doll with vitiligo as well as the new clothes, I'll be able to ha release them all at once, hopefully before Christmas. But at the same time, I'm not expecting it to come before Christmas just because production takes about 45 days. We're in August right now and then shipping because I'm doing shipping by sea takes another 30 to 40 days so I'm not expecting it. It would be great if it happens but it's okay if it doesn't. I'm really okay with them launching like beginning of 2024 so that's no problem. It's the planters that I'd like to have before Christmas because we need those so that's what we're hoping to get before Christmas but Doll samples are good, very excited about that. So now we're on to the new product samples, AKA the beach towels. I've never done beach towels before. I've never offered anything in that sense of type of like a material or linen or anything like that. So this is all very new. So I saw the pictures from the supplier and the pictures from the supplier were a little bright. Is it because of their phone or their camera that they use? I don't know, I'm not sure. It's just the screen difference. Maybe the colors are just too vibrant, I don't know but I'm a little nervous to open this package. It's just samples, so it's not meant to be 100% concrete. Like, of course, I can make a new sample. That's not a problem. I'm just nervous because it's new. So I recently received a grant, and so this is helping me being able to produce these new samples and try new products and diversify my products, so I'm really excited about that. But I'm still nervous. Okay, let's do it. So I got two towel designs, and... I like both. I know my audience is going to like one more than the other, so I'm only going to be doing one of these designs in the future production run, but I wanted to see what they both look like so I can really show my audience, show my community, see what they say, and as much as like a flat picture says one thing, seeing it in the material is going to be a whole other experience, right? So let's go. Is there a tab for me to pull and make this easier to open? Yes. Am I using it? No. We don't judge around here, okay? Okay. Look at that. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. Maybe it's just the pictures from the phone. Like maybe the phone just made the colors too bright, you know? Or maybe they adjusted it and edited the photos before they sent it to make it look better. I don't know. But it doesn't look that bad in person so far. Okay, no, it's super bright. <laughs> I don't know if I hate that it's bright. Maybe I do like it. Beach towels are almost supposed to be bright, eye-catchy, vibrant, exciting to look at, right? Like whether you're on the beach, whether you're at a pool, whether you're having a picnic, well, maybe not for a picnic, but you can still bring them for a picnic, right? Or just chilling in the park. Okay, so this is the first design. I'll obviously show it to you guys more. And this is the one I kind of like the most, but this is the one my audience, I think, likes the most. So let's continue. I'm going to open up the one I like the most.
first impressions soft feels good okay the colors definitely need to be fixed more so for her skin because this is a zuri towel so more so for her face i think the colors will need to be changed but it still looks really good What do you think? I'll show you guys the picture here, just because I'm not going to be able to fit the whole thing in the actual shot. But this one is, this one is Ziri in her flower puffs with stripes in the background. So this style is my favorite. Again, her face is definitely going to be need, needing to be adjusted for her skin. But the rest of it I don't mind, like it's it's pretty good. I'm happy that all the details came through, like especially for like very thin aspects like here, like the detailing here is really, really thin. And I'm really happy that still came through and is still vibrant and visible. Like the lines within the flowers or the little bulbs, that's still visible, so that's exciting as well. So I'm happy about that. The material is okay. It's not the thickest of the thickest towels, but it's also not the thinnest of the thinnest towels. It feels soft, which is good. The back is gonna be blank just for, you know, cost purposes. <laughs> but so far, not bad. For a first sample and a completely new supplier, I'm happy. It's not approved, it needs to be adjusted and I'm gonna have to pay for another sample, but I like it. So that's that's a good thing. Trying out a new supplier and trying out a, or a new manufacturer Working with people that are completely new is always nerve-wracking and scary, but I'm, I'm happy. So this is the first design. Now the second design, which I know my audience is going to like more. That one I think needs to be adjusted a little bit more than the first one, just based off of colors. So I assume I'm going to be going with this design just because that's what my community and my audience like. But I like the stripe one better. But anyways. So this one is the same concept as the first one where it's Siri with her flower puffs, but the background is flowers based off of the same flowers in her puffs. So it's a lot more consistent in that sense, I guess, because it's a flower background with flower puffs. I'll show you the original image here so that way it's easy for you guys to see the full thing. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I get the concept that the flowers make the most sense because she has flowers in her hair. Maybe I'm just not too much of a flower girl, but I like the stripes one better. The stripes, I guess the stripes for me just like automatically trigger like beach towel because like, you know, a lot of the styles of beach towels back in the day, I guess, because they had stripes. I don't know, but the stripes one is a lot more what I'm gravitating towards. But it's not about me, it's about my audience and my community, so I'm definitely going to be listening to what they say 100%. But I do think some of the flower colors need to be adjusted. Like, I don't know how I feel about this big red one in the corner. Maybe it should be a different color. Again, her skin tone is definitely a little too red. So her skin definitely needs to be changed. We'll just like the color, making sure the Pantone is correct. Like, I feel like her skin should be a little bit closer to this brown than it actually is. Like, in comparison, the brown versus her skin, which is more red. So, her skin will definitely need to be adjusted. Um, again, the quality is fine. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just, it's a towel. It's not a super, super thick towel, which I still think is okay. But, Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm making beach towels. Okay, well, I'm not making them, but I'm getting beach towels made. I'm so excited. So, again, the details that come through on this, like, terry cloth material, I'm very surprised and happy with. Like, look how intricate and small this detail is. 
and yet you could still see it. So that's really exciting. So I'm going to be showing this to my audience, seeing what they say, seeing which design they pick now that we actually see it in the full material. And of course, adjusting the colors because that's going to be necessary. So before I actually do the second sample, I'm going to first figure out which design we're going to go with. Again, I assume the flowers one, the complete flowers one is going to be the one that my audience wants, but I'm still going to show them both and of course let them know that colors need to be adjusted, but just see what they think. But I'm excited. Of course, this is going to be launching in 2024 before the summer, so I still have time. I'm actually like super, not super early, but I'm early. For me, I'm normally just like super late or just on time, so I'm excited that I'm actually early for this, so this is going to be exciting. But yeah, so we got our towels and we got our new doll samples. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Well, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Which towel would you pick? Would you go for the full flower design or the flowers and stripes? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to learn more about the behind the scenes of running a small business, as a team of one, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!